Hi, I'm Marcia Diane, and I've been talking a lot about PTSD. One of the problems with PTSD or with victims of PTSD is we get into thinking that nobody understands me. We get into feeling sorry for ourselves, which is a terrible thing to do, but natural, totally natural. So it's not wrong, it's not bad, you shouldn't feel shame about it, but it doesn't help to feel sorry for ourselves. But it is true that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people say, well, just get over it. You know, it's been months, it's been years, you know, just get over it. Or maybe they blame you. Maybe they think it was your fault that you married that creep when they told you not to, or you met somebody in a bar and, and then you got raped or whatever the situation is, you got yourself into a bad situation and other people blame you for it. That's toxic. That's not good and you're gonna feel misunderstood and probably hopeless and anxious and feel bad about yourself, feel like you're not worthy, feel like you just wanna run and hide or maybe you lash out, maybe you're aggressive and angry and, and rude in return. Whatever your response is, that's your natural response and I want you to recognize that having a response to what happens to you is natural and normal and it's okay. It's okay to have emotions even if they feel bad. What's not okay is to continue to beat yourself up, to continue to not get help, to continue to not do anything to climb out of the PTSD hole. Because that's what happens. We go down that rabbit hole. You know what I'm talking about, right? We fall down that rabbit hole into a deep, dark place and we don't know how to get out. That's not our fault. A lot of mental health counselors are not that good at helping people out. Some are great at helping people out. If you've turned to a mental health counselor and have gotten help, hooray for you. If you haven't, I can offer you some help. I am a licensed professional counselor uh, for mental health and addictions, and I've helped many, many people out of the PTSD hole. I've helped myself out of the PTSD hole. And what I have to teach you, are wish, what I wish people had taught me 20 or 30 years ago when I was still suffering a whole lot more than I am today. So I'm offering you a way to feel understood so that you can drop that victim consciousness so that you can learn what you can do and you can start practicing new skills and techniques that will help you to feel better day by day. That's what I offer you. So I do have a book called Climbing Out of the PTSD Hole. It's free. You just pay shipping and handling and that will put you on my email list in which you will get um, notification of my blogs. My blogs are free. They're all about ways to deal with regular life problems on a spiritual basis. And whether you believe in God or whatever religion you were brought up in or not, doesn't matter. To me, your soul, your spiritual being, and you were alive before you came into this body and you'll be alive after you leave this body as soul, the body will die but you will carry imprints and you will carry those traumas with you until you do something to release them. So I don't mean to scare you, but I do mean to encourage you that there are ways that you can feel understood. There are ways that you can heal from the terrible things that you've been through and you can stop that cycle that you've gotten caught up in and that hole that you've fallen down into. I'm here to help you with that. I will I'll tell you just a tad about my course, Essential Mastery. A little bit more about that on in the book, uh, Climbing Out of the PTSD Hole. Essential Mastery is a course and a membership program that we have that will launch a couple of times a year. You can't just get into it any old time because I want people to come in as a group and pay close attention to people that are in that group. Help them with their problems um, as being a new person on this healing journey or being a person new to the healing journey my healing journey, my program. There are other programs out there. You can do a ton of research and find out for yourself. You can do whatever you want, of course, you know, um, but I do wanna offer you from someone who's been down the road of trauma, helped many, many people, thousands, hundreds of clients through PTSD, help them heal and live a life they never thought was possible. Totally possible. My clients are very happy with me and the ways that I've been able to help them. I'm happy with me and the things that I've learned and applied in my own life and have helped clients apply that help them. So I have a lot of experience and I really hope that you are open to letting me help you as well. 
Now, when you join Essential Mastery, you will get a program, a membership program, where you can email each other, you can you know, post videos or comments, and you can get help from the community. It's like an online community, like AA, but it's not like AA, but in some ways it is because it's a healing journey that you go on and you learn as you grow and you get to enjoy the fellowship of other human beings and you get to learn and share and service others, help others, and that feels really good, you know? One of the most wonderful healing things that you can do is besides heal yourself and learn to love yourself, which you can do, even though you probably don't do very much of right now, when you learn to love yourself, you can reach out to other people who don't and help them. It feels really good to help other people. So anyway, I hope you join our community. Uh, in the meantime, please order the book, Climbing Out of the PTSD Hole, and you can join our Facebook group called Essential Mastery. And I just want to welcome you into our new family, into your new family if you choose. All right, take care and I wish you all the best on your healing journey.